Alright, what's up YouTube? It's your fellow sneakerhead, Down South Player 713, coming back at you with what I call Crucito's Closet, episode number 6. Well, today's April 27, 2014. Um, it's going to be a pretty short video. Well, not short, but it's pretty going to be, pickups are going to be pretty short. Um, due to my work schedule, uh, I wasn't able to really get anything this week, sadly. Um, I was able to get something online, but I wasn't able to, go, I wasn't able to drive around to stores and pick something out. So pretty much the only thing I was able to get was what came in the mail. And I ordered something on the mail also, but it's not going to be here probably till later on during the week. So that pickup will be next week. Uh, so what I decided to do is um, I'm going to do real quick the one pickup I did get. I did get one pickup, but you already seen it. You already know what it is. So to make this video a little interesting, I'm going to show y'all what I rocked throughout this whole week. So I got seven pairs of shoes for seven days of the week, including seven will be the one I'm wearing today. So let's get right into it. Let's not waste some more time. So for my only pickup for this week is the Gamma 12s, which y'all saw the unboxing. I was real stoked about these while I recorded it earlier on the unboxing because it's a new color. I mean, it's a Gamma. <laughs> it's a Gamma colorway. Uh, maybe it's played out by now, but it was just a shoe I missed out during release date. And, it, and of course, always happy to get a, a pickup at retail when you miss out on it. So it's a pretty good feeling, and even though it wasn't retail. But, uh, so, let's just go on to what did you wear today throughout the whole week. So, uh, here we go with this. Bear with me. It's my first time doing it. So, we're going to try to do this nice and neat. All right. So, for Monday, uh, I want to start off something different. Uh, start off with the KD5, the All-Star All -Star Game Edition. Uh, Area 72, I believe they call them. Area 72s. The KD5. Uh, pretty cool color. Um, simple. Not too crazy like the Kobe and the LeBron or the Barclays, much like the Barclays. But just something about the shoe, it stands out. I guess it's the orange. Orange, as they say, is the brightest color you can wear. It stands out. You can see it far away. And, uh, yeah, it's a, true. People, actually, uh, Charlie, if anyone lives in Denver Harbor, Charlie from the corner store, he said there's some pretty nice shoes. So I guess it was just the orange that caught his attention. So it just goes to show people do notice what you wear when you stand out like that. All right, so for Tuesday, I decided to go on dead stock these actually. The Ch AJKO one Chicago Bull colorway, uh, on dead stock them. Uh, I never owned a pair of AJKOs, but uh, they don't feel too much different, honestly. The, the bottoms feel the same, so more or less the uh, same feel to it. It's just a little more padding, I guess, that we would say. The canvas on, on the upper, it's a little more padding to it. Uh, pretty simple shoe, nothing too crazy. Um, it's just a nice shoe to have, I guess. Nice shoe to wear. Something simple. Uh, for Wednesday, I decided to go with some Nike SBs, some Dunk Highs. They, they call these Miss Piggies. Uh, for the colorway, obviously, the pink, the pink uh, notebook, I guess. Pink notebook with the uh, white, not white, I'm sorry, the yellow. Yellow laces and yellow insole inside. Uh, pretty cool shoe. I mean, on this stock, these also on this stock, them. I uh, wanted to wear them so you get a feel to them. Um, Y'all yeah, probably seen this on one of my pickups sometime earlier in the year, earlier in the month. Uh, pretty cool shoe, simple. Uh, pink is, it's a nice pink. It's not too much, too bright out there. It's just a nice pink. Black and pink goes real well together and that yellow just pops it even more. Now for Thursday, it was kind of a whole another direction on Thursday. Uh, I wanted to go with some Converse. Uh, Converse are nice to begin with. It's a simple shoe, Chuck Taylors. Simple shoe, uh, underrated. Uh, people don't really know sneakerhead that I know really collects them. Uh, for the most part, I don't think they're really collectible, but because you can go to the store and get them anytime you really want them. But every now and then, a Converse comes out that really catches your attention. And I think this is one of those ones that really catches your attention. Uh, it's a Superman, Superman Converse with the DC Comics, the, the little collaboration they did with DC Comics. Um, pretty nice, man. Pretty nice to be honest. Um, I actually got a couple of likes on these, even though it's a Converse. People seem to respond well to these. Uh, so I don't know. I guess just, I guess just the picture is looks fucking awesome. To be honest with you, I don't know if the camera's gonna see it. Hopefully, y'all can see it. But it's a pretty cool, awesome. It's Superman on a white, pretty much a white Converse with a little bit of, I guess, blood splatter. And uh, but Superman on the inside is just his logo. The logo with the S and the spelling of his name. And the inside, blue. Nice little blue on the inside. Uh, but yeah, pretty dope shoe, man. Uh, 
I actually have a few Converse, and this is one of my favorite ones. Uh, just clean colorway. <laughs> but anyway, moving on to Friday to make up for the Converse. The people were kind of some people were talking down about how oh, you know be a sneakerhead and wear Converse. Well, this is how you're sneakerhead, motherfuckers. But the vocal, the Asian Bulls ain't really all that crazy. It's not a major heat, but it's still heat nonetheless. Um, especially if I'm in pretty good condition like these. Uh, I could say I worn these the first time I worn them. Uh, they they weren't that stock when I purchased them, but they were new to me. So it's the first time I wore them. I wore them on Friday, Friday night, went out with them. And uh, of course, people stared. I got like three compliments. I, I kid you not, I got three compliments talking about those are real nice condition Kotoros. I'm like, well, thank you. I mean, that's all I can say. I just, I just try to be humble with it. I try to be as cool as I could with you. I don't just this you and just say, okay, thanks. And I try to say thank you. I appreciate it a lot. That what I what I'm passionate about, y'all respect it or y'all understand it. So if y'all see, if you see somebody wearing a nice shoe, just give them a compliment. Just let them know. Don't be afraid to tell them. I mean, me personally, I don't mind y'all telling me hey, those nice shoes. I mean, it means a lot. I mean, it just makes it worthwhile what you do, what I do. It just makes it worthwhile. People compliment on them. But I, I digress from the from the point. Toro five. Uh, classic shoe, classic. The first Toro, and to me, the best Toro there ever will be. Does the people argue with me about it's the four, it's the sixes, and the fourteen coming out? I believe the fourteen is gonna be better. Nothing will ever beat this Toro five of me for some reason. It's only gonna be the originator. Uh, for Saturday, decided to switch it up to the Barkley posits. Now, the Barkleys, it's a love hate relationship with them. I love the whole idea to the Barkley, the Barkley posit. I love the fact the bottom glows. They actually do glow the bottom. You just gotta charge them up to the light. And a few seconds, and they start glowing like crazy. I, I love that. I love the whole posit material. I, I love the whole shoe. But the price tag on it is kind of hard to drop. I mean, each Barkley retails at about two, 220 230 I believe. So it's kind of hard to drop that much money. And there were some releases that went on clearance, so uh, it's kind of hard to. It's a love hate relationship with the Barclays, but this is this is my favorite Barclay of the whole Barclay set. This is my favorite one, the Barclay Gamma Blue, I believe they were called the Gamma Blue with the metallic silver. Uh, just the the to splatter the not the blue, I guess it's a, I was I would say a blood splatter, but I guess splatter you could just call it the blue blood blue splatter all over the. the up of the shoe and then the air bubble it's real real cool i mean this is probably that's probably what caught my attention the color it's as clean as it is the silver and blue but that splatter i believe was the only one that actually had the splatter everything else was just a simple color um but yeah this is the pretty much my favorite barkley of the month uh next to it comes close between this and the area 72 but the area 72 is just a little crazy for me but this is a simple and clean favorite barkley uh, and now for the number seven shoe for the kicks of the night, actually went with the uh, phone posit. I went with the phone posit. Here you go. I best stock these today. Also, uh, I forget what these are called, but I think they're called the camel, the army army camel, whatever it's called. But uh, I'm best stocking today. Still got the tag on them. Pretty much brand new. Just walked around in the house, walked outside. Uh, pretty dope shoe. I think it's a nice shoe to finish off the week. Uh, looks like it might rain, so it's pretty, pretty durable shoe for the bottom. Uh, it's one of the one of them doesn't have the clear outsole, the clear bottom sole. I'm sorry. So it should be cool to walk around if it does rain a little bit. Not do too much damage. Easy to clean, easy to maintain. So I decided to go with the foam posit. I think it's the foam posit pro with that little swoosh inside. So that's pretty much it for this episode of Crucito's Closet. Um, please bear with me. If it was pretty bad. Uh, just going as it. I'm just <coughs> roll going with the flow, going as it come to my head. Uh, that's pretty much it. Look forward to next week's episode. I got the package coming in from this week. That's what I should order from this week. Uh, it was a release that came out on Saturday, so y'all can guess what it is. Uh, until then, down south player seven one three out. Uh, one last note. Uh, follow me on Instagram if you're not following me already. Uh, you'll see what I wore throughout the whole day. You'll see all these pickups, or not pickups, but you'll see kicks of the day. Uh, 
much as that, you'll see some of my stuff that I do around the house, whatnot. But follow me on Instagram. P point is, follow me on Instagram. If not follow me, uh, you won't regret it. Uh, always posting me pictures. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Don't stop here, 713, y'all.